Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Let me start with Honorable Gikaria's uh, question on the basic education issue of capitation. The problem of capitation or the issue of capitation is a problem that is of, of a national nature. It is an issue that arises from the fact that we do not have enough resources in the country. In fact, in the capitation model, the government was supposed to do 80% of capitation to the schools. But at no time has it ever been able to give that figure either on time or in total. So there is a challenge in the money coming to the schools for them to be able to undertake their programs on time. So one of the things that may be brought to bear so that that problem is resolved would be agreeing with Treasury through Parliament that the sums of the budget of the ministry be fenced because it's a, a sensitive ministry so that it get uh, released on time and released in totality. That is one of the ways that we can resolve the weakness in that particular area of capitation. There are programs and there are policies in place that do not allow the teachers in schools to raise or to give extra fees or levies from the parents. But there are some principals or some teachers or some schools that flout this particular um, requirement or this particular regulation. So therefore, what we would do is to ensure that we have a strict implementation of those policies by ensuring that we have a watertight disciplinary mechanism for those who actually flout those particular regulations and policies. On the school feeding program, it is a program that was rolled out by government to cover uh, the ASAL um, uh, uh, counties where there are difficulties of getting food and also the informal settlements in some uh, towns. And it is currently covering 26 counties. Um, uh, we have a coverage of about 2.6 million uh, children. And it is a program that has to be continued because it helps the students to be retained in school and it helps them to come, you know, and continue being in school. So what needs to be done is to come up with programs and policies that allow intergovernment agencies, for example, Kenya Meat Commission or the Cereals Board, so that we can utilize the amounts of money we have to be able to reach more children. It's a program that the government wants to continue, and it's a program that if I was nominated, I would continue to pursue. On the question of uh, retirement age, I am not yet on that. Uh, it's irrelevant. There's no age limit for a minister. There's no age limit. <laughs> Mary? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chairman. I want to pick up from where... 